Good afternoon, it's really good to have you join me again. I want to share some thoughts with you this afternoon. Uh, in my last post, this is going to be a follow-up from my last post actually, but in my last post I shared a quote from a guy called Carl Bard and the quote is as follows, though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. I think that's a pretty awesome quote. I love quotes that kind of encourage me to embrace the new in life and uh, that one certainly does that. So what I'd like to do as a follow-up to that first post is just share with you a few steps that you can take on your journey. You're going after a new ending. Uh, a new ending involves change, it involves new beginnings. Uh, but I want to give you some practical advice as to how to uh, go after these things in your life. Now I've got 10 steps that I want to share with you and I recognise that actually I can't really do them justice all in one post otherwise the post would be too long. So what I'm going to do in this first post is I'm going to share the first five with you uh, and then I will uh, do a second post with, with the second five steps and uh, you can get the, the whole 10 steps if you watch both of the videos. But I really hope that you'll, you'll find this really helpful and um, that it will really set you up nicely on your journey. So the first one is to decide to change. We need to, when we're, when we're looking at new beginnings, when we're building that new ending, we need to, we need to make a decision for change in our life. Uh, and that may sound obvious, but uh, we seldom get anywhere in our endeavours if we aren't truly committed. So we need to make a decision. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pursuing this. I'm putting all of myself into this. I want to go for change. I want to go for a new beginning. So we need to make a decision for change in our life. We should recognise also that um, yeah, change and new beginnings aren't always going to be easy. And... Uh, our resolve is certainly going to be tested along the way, but uh, I think the way to get past that, to get past the challenge is, is to have a real focus on what you're, what you're looking to achieve, what your goal is. Uh, and we're going to be thinking a little bit more about goals uh, later in this post. The second step is to be prepared to step outside of your comfort zones. Um, I don't know if you know this guy, there's a guy called Billy Cox, I quote quotes as I say. Uh, he was actually Jimi Hendrix's bass guitarist. And he once said, life will only change when you become more committed to your dreams than you are to your comfort zone. So we need to step out of our comfort zone. When we've been doing the same thing for a long time, it becomes very comfortable in that place. Even if we don't want to uh, continue on in those things, it's what we know, it's what we feel comfortable with. Uh, if we're going to go after a new ending, which means new beginnings, new change, uh, we need to be prepared to leave our comfort zone. Step number three is to consider why you want to change life. Consider why you want to change life. Um, are you looking to uh, improve your overall health? Uh, what is it you're looking to, to do? Why, why do you want to pursue change in your life? Why do you want to pursue a new ending in your life? Have a clear idea as to what you're aiming at. Uh, step number four is define the changes that you want to make in life. Uh, Madonna once said, uh, strange person to get a quote from, but I get quotes from all over the world and all kinds of people. Um, but anyway, she said, no matter who you are, no matter what you did, no matter where you've come from, you, always, you can always change, become a better version of yourself. Uh, so define what those changes are all about for you. Are you looking to become a better version of yourself? Define what those changes are for you. Step number five is to identify things that may hold you back. Uh, I, I think this is a really important step, actually, and I don't think we give enough thought to these kind of things. We don't want to set off on a negative path, so to speak, but we need to recognise, uh, we need to identify the habits in our lives. Uh, we need to recognise the reoccurring thoughts. Uh, maybe you're looking to give up smoking and you've tried before and in your mind you're like, oh, I've tried so many times. Uh, why, why do I think I'm going to be successful this time? We need to identify those reoccurring thoughts and kick them into touch, so to speak. We need to think about the people around us. Um, it's not just bad habits. It's not just um, reoccurring negative thoughts, but it can be the people that we surround ourselves with. 
that are, are holding us back from making the changes in our life. So uh, we really need to identify the things that are holding us back. So that was the first five steps in this uh, 10 steps towards change in your life. I'm gonna, as I say, I'm gonna be doing a second post with five more steps. I hope you found what I've shared so far helpful and I do encourage you to check out the last five steps in, in a separate video post.